Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving an issue where you're coming across a Microsoft Visual Basic Runtime Error 429 ActiveX component can't create object. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the start menu. Type in CMD. Best results should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. Select yes if you receive the user account control prompt. So I'm going to have a command in the description of the video or really we're just going to be registering a DLL file that may have not been registered. So we're going to just copy that from my description and then we're going to go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here, right click on it, select edit and then paste, to paste it in. So regsvr32 and then a space scrrun dot dll. If you'd rather just type it out you can. Hit enter on your keyboard to run that. It should say it has succeeded. Once you have done that, honestly all you have to do at this point is select OK, restart your computer, and then the issue should have been resolved. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.